<clears throat> Good morning. This is the first time I've used my voice today, so if it sounds like I just woke up, it's, it's because I did. But we've got some announcements. We've got some news for Pokemon Go today, starting with Pokestop power-ups. Uh, I just want to quickly go over this because I think I'm going to make a little bit more in-depth of a video about it later on. But yesterday, Niantic announced that Pokestop power-ups are here. Trainers, we're excited to announce Power Up, Powered Up Pokestops, a feature that will make use of the AR mapping tasks we introduced last year. You'll be able to power up certain Pokestops and gyms for a limited period of time by completing AR mapping tasks. So basically what it is, is uh, by doing the AR scanning tasks that I've been avoiding since they were introduced last year, uh, by doing a certain number of scans, you can power up a Pokestop and unlock rewards. Uh, five scans for level one, 10 scans for level two, 25 scans for level three. And the rewards aren't detailed here, but I've been told by Niantic that for level one, the rewards are gonna be increased items from the Pokestop, so everyone will get more items when you spin it. Uh, for level two, it's increased items and bonus hearts for buddy Pokemon, which I, I guess just, is that for just visit a new place, or I'm not sure. And then for level three, you get both of those things, increased items, bonus hearts for buddy Pokemon, and increased Pokemon spawns around the Pokestop, or additional premier balls from raids if it's a gym so those are the rewards you get honestly i still don't see it as like a great incentive to do ar mapping tasks and again i think we're going to make a video pretty soon here that goes a little bit more in depth about all this so let's get to the big announcement the pokemon go holidays 2021 the Pokemon Go holiday event is coming. Bergmite is coming to Pokemon Go, which you might have already seen in the new loading screen. And here's what's going on. From Thursday, December 16th at 10 a.m. to Friday, December 31st at 8 p.m. local time. So basically from December 16th through the end of the year, the holiday event. It's a two-part event. The season of Heritage Story continues after the first door mechanism activated and Pokemon like Drudagon emerged. Only to raids. It came out. Drudagon came out of that cave and went, you know what? I'm gonna sit right here at the top of this gym. I don't, I don't know. If I was locked in a cage for who knows how long, I probably would have gone straight to the wild. Willow decided to take a break and celebrate with a gift exchange with the other team leaders. Okay, new game features launching. The postcard book. The postcard book is coming. You can finally save like postcards from gifts that people send you, which I think is something that people asked for the very minute that gifts were introduced to Pokemon Go. So we're finally getting that, which is cool. Um, I'll, I'll show that once it's live in game. As of right now, it's not live yet, but that's coming. We'll also have the Holiday Cup back in Go Battle League. During the event, you'll be able to open 45 gifts per day and hold up to 40 gifts in your item bag. Mega Obama Snow will be boosted and Team Go Rocket Grunts will have more water and ice type Pokemon. And of course, it wouldn't be a Pokemon Go event without costumed Pokemon. The following costumed Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go during the holiday event. Holiday Delibird, Holiday Stantler, Holiday Sfeel, Holiday Cubchoo, Holiday Glaceon, and all of those can be shiny. Or so I've been told. That's what I've been told. Uh, Sfeel will be shiny for the first time. I don't know if it's going to be able to evolve. Last year, Cubchoo couldn't evolve. We're getting Cubchoo again. I don't think it can evolve. I don't think Sfeel will be able to evolve, but we're getting shiny Holiday Sfeel. And Glaceon. If you catch a Glaceon, it can be shiny. It's honestly, it's not a very good shiny, I'll be honest with you. Ah, new avatar items, stickers, and bundles. All right, Pokemon Go Holidays Part 1. Remember, it is a two part event. So from December 16th to December 23rd, the following Pokemon will be available in the wild Pikachu wearing a holiday hat, Swinub, Holiday Stantler, Holiday Delibird, Snowrunt, Holiday Sfeel, Snover. 
Vanillite, Holiday, Cub Chew, and if you're lucky, you might encounter Alolan Sandshrew and Cryogonal. So those two will be rare. In raids, we're gonna have Pikachu wearing a Holiday hat, Alolan Sandshrew, Swinub, Sfeel, and Cub Chew. In three-star raids, Cloyster, Holiday Stantler, Holiday Delibird, Holiday Glaceon. In five-star raids, Curum. In mega raids, Mega Steelix. And for field research tasks, you can encounter Pikachu with a Holiday hat, Alolan Vulpix, Swinub, Holiday Sandler, Holiday Sfeel, Holiday Cub Chew. I, do I don't think they'll do raid tasks for those, right? Cryogonal will also be available through field research. We'll have December Community Day. December Community Day is happening during uh, this event. It'll be December 18th and 19th with a recap of 2021's Pokemon. And then Pokemon Go Holidays Part 2 from Thursday, December 23rd to Friday, December 31st. Part 2 of the event, Bergmite and Avalug will make their Pokemon Go debuts. A gift from your first Pokestop spin each day. It's back! Free incubators. You'll get an egg incubator for spinning your first Pokestop each day. And previously, this was just like a single use incubator. It wasn't a three use incubator. So I don't know if it's going to be single use or three use this time. But for the week, December 23rd until December 31st, make sure you spin a Pokestop each day for a free incubator. Even more time to research. Two time to research lines focused on friendship and catching Pokemon will be available during part two of the event. Complete them for fun surprises and rewards. Each of these research lines will lead to an encounter with Galarian Mr. Mime. There it is, finally. Galarian Mr. Mime. If you didn't want to buy one last, last year, you can finally get one for free. Galarian Mr. Mime will be available through the time to research during part two of the holiday event. A Winter Wonderland mini event will take place from Saturday, December 25th at 10 a.m. to Sunday, December 26th at 8 p.m. local time. So like a Christmas day and boxing day. Look at me, so cultured. Uh, event. A collection challenge focused on trading with your friends will be available from Saturday, December 25th to Friday, December 31st. You'll need to trade for the following. You'll need to trade for the following Pokemon to complete the challenge. Swinub, Snowrunt, Sfeel, Snover, Vanillite, and Cubchoo. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the ones with the costumes. Complete the challenge to encounter Galarian Mr. Mime, in case you wanted three of them. Winter Wonderland bonus, you'll be able to trade with trainers up to 40 kilometers away. So during this time, I don't know if that's only during uh, December 25th and December 26th, the mini event that will have 40 kilometer trade distance or for the entire part two. It's not clear from the announcement, but at least on Christmas day and the following day, 40 kilometer trade distance. So hopefully you got someone to trade with. It's weird timing because I, I mean, I don't know for me personally, like I spend those days with family and luckily for me, a lot of my family plays Pokemon Go, so we'll be able to do this stuff, but I know for a lot of people, you might be the only one in your family who plays Pokemon Go. And if you're spending time with your family, then you're not meeting up with your friends or your Pokemon Go community. Anyway, I hope I hope that this works out. Uh, field research task encounters. We'll have Holiday Delibird uh, as a research reward, which of course can be shiny. And then in the wild, this is for part two of the event. In the wild, Pikachu with a holiday hat, Swinub, Holiday Delibird, Holiday Stantler, Holiday Sfeel, Snow Runt, Snover, Holiday Cubchoo, Vanillite. Are those the same spawns? If you're lucky, you might encounter Alolan Vulpix, Cryogonal, and Bergmite. So Bergmite's coming to Pokemon Go. No shiny this time. There is a note that Cubchoo, during spotlight hour on December 28th, will have the costume, which means if you get the shiny, it can't evolve. In raids during part two, Pikachu with a holiday hat, Alolan Vulpix, Holiday Sfeel, Holiday Cubchoo, Galarian, Darumaka. Which will be shiny for the first time in Pokemon Go. Galarian Darumaka's shiny is being introduced during part two of the holiday event. And it's only in raids. Nice. In three star raids, Lapras, Holiday Delibird, Holiday Stantler, Holiday Glaceon, and five star raids, Kurum, and Mega Raids, Mega Obama Snow. The following Pokemon. All right, I take it back. The following Pokemon will be hatching from eggs 
obtained during the event. In 7 Kilometer Egg, Swine Up, Holiday Cub Chew, Smoochum, Galarian Darumaka, Bergmite, and Cryogonal. So it's in raids, and it's in eggs, and it's also in field research. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. In field research encounters, Pikachu wearing a holiday hat, Alolan Sandshrew, Swine Up, Holiday Sailor, Holiday Spiel, Holiday Cub Chew, and if you're lucky, Galarian Darumaka. It'll be a rare, rare field research task, and hopefully not hatch three eggs or win three raids. That's it. That's the holiday event in Pokemon Go. Dude, I did this whole video without, I didn't turn on my Christmas lights and my Christmas tree. Can you see them? Can't, you can't even tell that they're on. That's my Christmas tree. I put a, a string of lights this long in my fig. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Um, Pokemon Go holidays. Ice type Pokemon. Shiny Galarian Darumaka. Uh, Bergmite debut. There's some things happening here. 40 kilometer trade distance is good. Um, I hope you have people to trade with during Christmas, part two, part two of the event. And of course, finally, Galarian Mr. Mime for free. So, you know, th this is the way things go with Pokemon Go, right? Niantic introduces something new. They try to milk it for as much money as they can. And then eventually it becomes available. So the same thing's going to happen with Drudagon next year during a dragon event. We'll finally have Drudagon in the wild. That's the way it always goes. So, you know, I... I still don't like them introducing a new Pokemon and then paywalling it, putting it only in raids. Um, but with Pokemon Go, eventually everything becomes accessible. So don't forget that. I know we're, I mean, I'm, I know a lot of us are not feeling good about Drudagon, but let this Galarian Mr. Mime be a reminder that like next year, we'll, we'll get Drudagon in the wild probably. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're uh, looking forward to something in Pokemon Go. I'll see you in the next one.